They could not foresee the development of uh, technological capability like uh, television, radio, and mass news media distribution. They couldn't foresee the development of the massive transportation system we have, which makes travel a, a bygone uh, fact, a foregone conclusion, not a major undertaking as it was back in a wilderness country. The development of all of these changes makes the election of a president today a far different thing than it was back at the end of the 18th century. Today, we no longer need free and independent electors who really are not bound to vote for the people of their state or vote for the candidate that the people of their state chooses, which as we saw recently in the Congress, was again confirmed as what our constitutional fathers meant. Today, I think they have every right to make this choice themselves. Senator Mark O. Hatfield, Republican from Oregon. One of the major problems which we face today one of the problems which we have faced many times since the construction of our republic in 1776 is how to get along with one another in spite of the many differences which separate us. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution and the Bill of Rights were all right in their day, critics assert, but their day has vanished. This is the space age, the age of swift change in science and technology. What should we think about, therefore? as we move toward the third century of the American Republic. What can we do to make sure the eternal values of the Constitution become truly relevant to every person? I would like to suggest that more young men and women in our country plunge into politics, plunge into politics and do so with the sense of high calling which politics ought to command to reform and restructure politics, to become meaningful to their objectives in a peaceable way. I believe the alienation of the young will then be replaced by a new feeling of participation, by a sense of genuine accomplishment, by a new feeling of respect for man's earthbound and spiritual values. The greatness of the American Constitution, of our Constitution, is that it was built to last through the ability to change or modify to meet man's need in every age. Freshman Congressman Allard Lowenstein of New York who rose to national prominence during the 1968 presidential campaigns. When a nation's most cherished principles and her most urgent needs unite to dictate priorities and goals, that nation delays response at her own peril. We know these priorities and these goals. We know what direction we ought to move. We know that time is running out if we are ever to forge a society with liberty and justice for all. The Constitution of this country provides the best possible framework for forging such a society. More than that, no Constitution could do. The rest, we do or is not done. No people have ever had greater incentive to do what they ought to do than we have now. <laughs>